this is what design thinking method looks like. We start with empathize, and then we define, ideate, prototype, and test. We start with empathizing with the person whose problem we try to solve. This person is sad because this person has a problem, right? By talking to this person, then this person can help us understand what the problem looks like to this person. What is the real problem? Understanding that will give us an idea on how to actually come up with potential solution. That's when we ideate. And when we're ideating, we want to limit the time so that we can actually optimize for creativity. Creativity works really well when there is pressure, when there is a limit. After we come up with as many ideas as we can within this time limit, then we need to actually choose a few potential ideas that can potentially solve the problem. The winning ideas. From there, we prototype. Basically, we just create a representation of the idea that we want to test. Let's say this one that we can actually test. Let the person who's having the problem experience it, at least get, get an idea of what that would look like, so we can get a reaction to know if this potential solution actually solved the problem or not. And if this fails, then we understand that, okay, we can define the problem a little better, and we choose the next one. Same thing. Prototype, test it, and once we have the winning one, we actually produce it.